Okay, so I just watched Sion Sono's Guilty of Romance, and it was fucking amazing. Um, it stars Megumi Kagurazaka, which she was in uh, his movie Cold Fish, and she was also in uh, Himizu after this, and will be in his upcoming film Land of Hope. Um, yeah, so first and foremost, Megumi is the complete highlight of the entire film. Um, her acting is leaps and bounds better than it was in Cold Fish. I thought she was good in Cold Fish, but she, like, knocked me for a loop in this. Basically, her character is this housewife for a man. Um, I'm not very good with Japanese names. I mean, I can say them, but I'll butcher them. So, uh, like I said, she's married to this guy, and he's a book author, like an erotic book author, and, um, basically he never has sex with her. And so her tension just builds up and builds up and builds up and builds up. And she, over the course of the film, just explodes uh, her desire everywhere. She, uh, and here's some of the spoilers. So if you haven't seen the film, uh, I wouldn't recommend, like, listening to the whole review. But um, if you have, great. She, she uh, gets a job at a store trying to give out samples of sausage and whatnot. She's not that great at it. She's socially awkward kind of thing. Uh, nervous. And then she meets a woman who gives her a card for a modeling agency. They meet up a couple of days later. Um, she starts modeling. And then it gets really awkward. And she gets forced into like this really sexual situation. And she looks broken. But deep inside you know it's what she's been wanting kind of thing. And so that's really like the start of the film for her. The uh, main plot of the film, since I got ahead of myself, is that um, there's a detective, the housewife, which is Megumi, and there is a university professor. Um, and the detective's trying to figure out why these two mannequin mutilated women have been pieced together, and the overall film talks about what leads up to the murder uh, from the character's point of view. Um, this film has a ton of sex scenes in it. Basically, we're uh, cold fish pushed violence. This is pushing sex like to its limits. Like it's probably the most sex scenes I've seen in a film in a long time. Um, as the film progresses, they get genuinely more and more and more and more disturbing and cold and like just bizarre. But uh, that's Sono. That's kind of what you expect from his dark films. Um, Anyway, I don't want to ramble on too long. This is my first review in like a year and a half, so I just wanted to let you all know that Guilty of Romance is an excellent film. In my opinion, some of his best work that I've seen. Uh, I haven't seen all of his older stuff, but it's definitely out of his newer stuff, like, say, um, I don't know, let's say, like, Love Exposure Ahead. It's his best, I think. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it and you are of age, I recommend watching Guilty of Romance. It's one hell of a film. I unfortunately haven't seen the director's cut, which is only out in Japan, but I will look for it, and if I get a chance, I will let you guys know um, if it's any better. So, thanks for listening. This is Josh Palmer, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, I